video for you guys today. It is actually something that has been requested before, not quite this video, but tips and tricks for how to do this. And that's to create long lasting face makeup. Makeup that's gonna see you through an entire festival, an entire event, um, makeup that you can apply in the morning and by the evening if you're going out, your skin is still looking really, really good. So I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that I actually use to make sure that my makeup lasts and stays put on my face all day long. Um, I have used some of these tips and tricks when I've done makeup on brides and to ensure that their skin looks fresh all day long and all night long. And for this video, I'm gonna be using a full face of Glamour Cosmetics. So Glamour Cosmetics stocks brands like Heen, Mio, and Pierre Rene. They are all incredible products. They are all hypoallergenic, they're all cruelty free. A lot of them are also vegan. Um, I'll put the links, direct links to every single product I use down in the drop box below, as well as the direct link to the Glamour Cosmetics website. Honestly guys, the prices of these products are really good and the quality you're getting is absolutely amazing. First up, and I'm sure you guys know this by now, primer. Primer is honestly important for a reason. There are different kinds of primers you can buy. If you have oily skin, you can get a mattifying primer or one that will also fill your pores. If you have dry skin, you can get one that's going to moisturize your skin. Or if you just want something that's going to make your skin look and feel a little smoother for a more flawless foundation application, but also extend the wear of your makeup, that's great. I own two different primers from Glamour Cosmetics. I own the Pierre Rene Liquid Primer. I have done a whole video on this, which I will link for you. This primer is great if you just want a more flawless application. So it will make the canvas of your skin a lot smoother and it will make your makeup last longer. You can also mix a little bit in with your foundation if you don't want to do the whole primer then foundation step. I have actually applied this as a primer and then mixed two drops in with my foundation as well. But for me, especially in Durban summer, I don't know if any of you know, if you don't live in Durban, February in Durban is actually hell. We're now going into March, so it's not going to be as hot, but it's still flipping hot. I like the Heen Oil Free Perfect Makeup Base. So this is a matte and silky finish. This will help mattify, it will help fill in any pores, and it will give you that same kind of very smooth canvas to apply your makeup on. So I'm gonna be going in with this one. The next trick with primer, being so heavily silicone based, you can see it's like a gel. You don't want to massage it into your skin. A lot of silicone based primers will pill, and when it pills, it means little balls come up on your skin. You want to, Rub it between two fingers, apply it to the areas you feel will need it more. And also the trick is to go in with less at first. Less is more, you can always build up. Too much and your makeup will slip. And then press it in. Another good trick with primers, especially heavily silicone based ones, give them a couple of minutes on your skin before going in with your foundation. If you try and go straight in with your foundation, the primer is not settled into your skin, it hasn't set, it's just going to be a slippy mess, it's not going to have that long lasting effect that you want, nor will it really truly mattify your skin. So I like to just, sometimes I actually, if I know I'm not going to be doing a messy eye look, I actually like to apply my primer, then go and do my eyes, and then come back and do the rest of my face. But a nice trick to do is grab a cup of coffee, grab your phone, and swipe through Instagram for two to three minutes. To me, I can feel that my primer is now set because it doesn't have that same, when you rub the, the primer straight out the tube between your fingers, it's got that very slippy feeling. And when you've just applied it to your skin, you can still feel that. I can feel, it doesn't feel as slippy anymore. It more feels a little bit sticky, tacky. It's set, we can go in with foundation. Another nice trick is if you're a very oily skin girl, I'm gonna do this today just to demonstrate. If you have very oily skin and you battle keeping that oil at bay, before you do foundation, apply a very light layer of powder over your face. Just a very light dusting, doesn't have to be a lot. I'm going to take the Heen Matte All Day Compact Powder, a brush, and I'm just going to pat it. I'm not going to swipe because swiping will pick up too much product. And then I'm going to take, just in the areas that get oily, i.e. my chin around my nose and my forehead, the T-zone, I'm going to pat a little bit of the powder on. When I actually studied makeup, this was actually a little makeup artist hack that I learned by putting a very light dusting of powder on an oilier skin before foundation and then the light dusting on top of foundation. Another way to make sure your makeup lasts long is to correct any imperfections. So I'm gonna zoom you in quickly. So rather than going in with 100 layers of foundation and several layers of concealer trying to conceal a little imperfections, like you can see, I had a little breakout there. So those spots, while they are in the process of healing, they are still a little bit red. 
I do have some pigmentation. It is on the way out thanks to great skincare. And for this, I'm going to take the Mio 5 Points Palette. It is their correcting palette. I find with a lot of products like this, cream correctors, it's actually better to go in with your fingertips rather than a brush because a lot of correctors are a much thicker, not quite waxy, but they're a very, very thick, thick formula and you need the kind of warmth of your fingertips to break them up and melt them down and get them to really go into the skin. So I'm going to take a little bit of the green. I'm also going to take a little bit of the green around the sides of my nose here. Now what I'm going to do for under my eyes is I'm actually going to mix the yellow and the peach together. So that's the yellow, that's the peach. So you can see a little bit of blotchiness still, but it's fine because the foundation's going over this and you're not going to see it once it is. You can see that while I didn't have the darkest circles, my eyes under here look much brighter. My pigmentation is obviously a lot less and then the redness is also faded quite a bit around my nose and on those two little spots there. So it's foundation time now. I'm gonna go in with the Heen Camouflage Waterproof Foundation. A good waterproof foundation that's gonna be long lasting is a great idea. Camouflage ones will also give you more coverage. Um, I have spoken in previous videos that my bottle had a bit of an accident. So my foundation is in this jar and I dip a clean concealer brush in here each time and apply it to the back of my hand before applying it to my face so it doesn't get any bacteria in it. trick of mine is to use a foundation brush. I have a really, really good buffing brush here, followed by a sponge. So using a foundation sponge to apply and buff in your makeup gives you a very, very smooth natural finish. However, it does shear out the coverage a bit. And often by shearing out the coverage, you are going to lose a little bit of the long wearing power. I find that by going in with a foundation brush, I buff in the product to get a fuller coverage, then I take my beauty sponge and I press the rest of the foundation into the skin. Anything that's left over will come off on the sponge, it won't soak up all the foundation that I've just gone in with and it will still give you that super flawless finish but with a slightly higher coverage and I find that my makeup when I do it with the, the combination of the two just really really lasts that much longer. Another big trick is not to swipe hard with the brush, but more to kind of gently buff and drag out, gently buff and drag out. And then with the sponge, you pat, you kind of bop it across your skin. The only time I will swipe with the sponge is right at the edges of my hairline and down my neck, just to ensure that the foundation is actually blended. I do have to say, by doing the color correcting, I don't feel that I'm going to need as much concealer. I'm going to go in with my Pierre Rene Contour Concealer. I want to teach you guys another hack. Always, by the way, always give your concealer a good shake first. Little hack, especially with very, very runny concealers. This is a very, very liquid concealer. Certain concealers, I would not do this trick with, especially very thick, very heavy, very high coverage concealers. I know certain um, other brands, your battles went down. But with a concealer like this, which is high coverage, but the formula is very thin, I apply it and then I leave it to sit for a minute. That way, you kind of get the concealer to dry down a little bit so it's not so liquidy. I found that the more liquidy they are, the less coverage they often give. By letting it dry down a little bit before blending it out, you actually allow the coverage to be a little bit higher. So, I actually should have done one eye at a time to show you guys the difference, but I don't want to mess up this makeup because it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to just sit and I'm going to play with some stuff and have some coffee while that dries down a little bit. And while that's drying down a little bit longer, I'm going to take that Neo palette and I'm going to take the dark shade. A nice way to make your bronzer last a little bit longer is to do a cream bronze, then set your whole face with powder and set on top of the cream bronze with powdered bronzer. for me 
to blend out that concealer. Let me just get my hair back because otherwise we're going to have a problem. I can foresee all the makeup going in my hair otherwise. I'm going to just take my makeup sponge. that same Heen Matte All Day Powder. Powder will, even if you have slightly dry skin and you don't really like powder products, you can always go in with a kind of finishing spray or a mist, or even just rose water spray, mist it over your face. It helps settle down the powders, it helps melt them into the skin, but you will get better wear out of your makeup. So I do recommend powder. And the biggest trick here is, most people swipe their powder on, don't do that, you're going to move your foundation, that's not a good idea. Pass it. Before you powder under the eyes, you can see some concealer has settled in there. Before you powder under the eyes, always take your sponge and just make sure any of it is smoothed out. And I use my sponge for under the eyes. So even though I've set my full face with powder, you can still see where I've put the cream bronzer there, the cream bronzer there. I still have it under my chin. You can still see that warmth here. The powder does not detract from that, especially if you're using a translucent powder. But we are gonna go in and we're gonna now basically set the cream bronzer with a powder bronzer. And for that, I'm going to use the Pierre Rene Shine Me palette. And basically, you're just going to take it exactly where you put the cream product, just to strengthen the color and make sure that it lasts. do a blusher now on top of all this your blush is going to last beautifully but finding a really good pigmented blusher that has good staying power is also key and I cannot recommend the Pierre Rene Rouge powders highly enough I'm going to use the shade Rusty Cheek 07 it is beautiful a good highlighter is also a must and I'm actually going to use from that same shiny palette the rich me that kind of the kind of gold toned highlighter Look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. Stunning. And then I press that in with my sponge that has a little bit of foundation still on. I press that over. It pushes the highlighter into the skin. It blends any harsh edges and makes it kind of one with the skin. And that's my face done. I'm gonna quickly finish up my brows, my eyes, and put some lipstick on, and show you my final step to long-lasting face makeup. <sighs> that's it, the rest of my face is done. All I did was use a little bit of my Pierre Rene brow pencil, I used the Mio Five Points palette in, in Feminine Flame, and I just took a little bit of the mid-tone brown and the chocolatey brown, kind of blended across the outer edge of my crease and my lower lashes, and I took this gorgeous Pierre Rene Royal Matte Lipstick in 21 Elegance Plum. Oh, but I'm in love with that color. It's totally a me color. Love dark purples and vibrant colors like this. More of a winter color, but you know what? I, I, have, to, I have to use it. My final step in making sure your makeup lasts all day and stays put beautifully is a good setting spray. This is the Heen High Definition Makeup Fixer Spray. So, this is an aerosol can. It has a very fine mist. It does have a bit of alcohol in, guys. Unfortunately, you cannot use an alcohol-based spray like this every single day because it will actually strip your, your skin of oils. However, used on special occasions when you have a wedding that, you, that will start in the morning and go through into the night. This will make sure it stays put. 
Just don't use it too often. This is special occasion spray. Little tip, I used a body bronzer on my legs the other day for a function and I was a little bit worried being a cream product might budge. I spritzed this on top of it on my legs and it worked like an absolute charm. So, I know that there's a big hype against using anything with alcohol in. Products with a heavier alcohol content, especially in things like facial sprays, should not be used on a daily basis. Using them on a special occasion or every now and then when you really want your makeup to last is not a problem. The eye will just miss my whole face. So guys, those are my tips and tricks for making sure that your makeup lasts as long as possible. Beautiful, flawless skin and that's gonna last you all day, all night for any occasion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like more tips and tricks like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!